Savant to scapegoat to savior, Sean Lewis is ready to take over the helm at San Diego State, the San Diego State Aztecs. Welcome to episode 383 of College Football's Peek Around the Corner with your host, Greg Flugar. We cover everything in college football because we love everything in college football. And if you do as well, please subscribe to our channel, smash the like button. If you like our content, share the video with your family and friends. Brighter days ahead for the San Diego State Aztecs. We talked about it. They felt pretty good. The president, the athletic director, they felt pretty good that they had a really good opportunity to get into the Pac-12. The Pac-12 that would survive and expand after losing UCLA and USC to the Big Ten. But it did not happen. San Diego State had a, um, a football season. They'd rather forget. Brady Hoke moved on. But I think brighter days ahead. You all know that I love Mr. Sean Lewis. Dennis Dodd. Article just came out this morning from Savant to Scapegoat to Savior. Sean Lewis takes over San Diego State. Ready to lead the Aztecs into the new era. It was the best September of Sean Lewis's career. In the month that hijacked the entire sport last season, Lewis stood as Deion Sanders' silent partner. While Colorado and Coach Prime were a must-see TV, Lewis was CU's straight man. Tall, ranging, unassuming. Lewis was the offensive coordinator for a unit that averaged more than 32 points per game across that month. It was Lewis who initially made Shador Sanders a star at the highest level. It was Lewis who was behind the school record 510 yards passing in the opener against TCU. It was Lewis who helped cash the checks that Coach Prime could only write with his boast. Just don't ask him about it now. <laughs> I mean, it was everyone else, said Lewis, deflecting the praise. Deflection is a theme for San Diego State's new coach. Unless you want to actually talk about the Aztecs, they will have to wait. The story is how Lewis got to San Diego State. At 37 years old, he might as well have been the best assistant coach you've never noticed last season. But in a matter of three months, only three months, Lewis was both the offensive puppet master behind Colorado's turnaround and eventually a scapegoat for the season-ending slump, at least from Deion's angle, Deion Sanders' angle. Lewis didn't get enough credit for the start, but got too much blame in, in the end. And I, I absolutely agree with Dennis Dodd on that. Sanders took his play calling duties on November 3rd, 2023, elevating offensive quality control analyst Pat Shermer. They took it away. They took away the offensive control from Sean Lewis in November, it's fair to say there was outrage within the coaching profession. Lewis had developed into a bit of an offensive savant. He worked his way up as a grinder who sold office, office supplies out of college. A former six foot seven tight end at Wisconsin, he was innovative while leading Kent State to its first ever bowl win in 2019. He was a great coach for Kent State. Now, I know the record doesn't match it, but he elevated that program, especially on the offensive side of the ball. Lewis in Colorado was a May-December romance. Only this one lasted from September to November. Mid-season assistant coach firings are always uncomfortable. You know the drill. Coach X gets all the blame for the poor performance on one side of the ball, typically after an embarrassing loss. This one did not make much sense, nor was it a firing which made it even worse, in my opinion. I think the importance of being young, dumb head coach, and being able to make some mistakes at the beginning, Lewis said of his career experience. If you ask me, I probably prioritized the ball and thought you could probably scheme everyone to death. Obviously, that's important. But learning the CEO leadership approach, how important it is, that is important too. Given Sanders' high profile, Lewis' demotion was one of the biggest stories of the season. Lewis had made his bones as Dino Babers, co-offensive coordinator at Syracuse. Then he turned 
water into wine for five seasons at Kent State, going 24 and 31. The record shouldn't derail the narrative. It does not. If you watch Mac football like I do here at Peek Around the Corner, Kent State going 24 and 31, that's, that's not bad for Kent State. But man, the offense under Sean Lewis at Kent State. Woo! It was fun to watch. It was good. It was special. His offense led the nation in scoring during the COVID-19 shortened 2020 season. Leaving a head coaching job to be part of Sanders, flip as a coordinator was going to be a wild ride, if nothing else, and it was. I think he knew he was taking a chance. He took the chance. It didn't pay off, but it paid off for San Diego State. We'll get that to at, by the end of the article. Babers told CBS Sports, I also think that people could look and see those first few months and first couple of games in September and say, wow, this guy knows what he is doing. And I think that is what San Diego State is buying. And I think San Diego State is buying a very, very, very good head football coach. Brighter days are ahead for San Diego State. Lewis wasn't out of the job when he was demoted. Hung out to dry was more like it. Schumer took over the play calling where Lewis stayed on staff, but the slight was obvious. It took about a month after the demotion before Lewis was announced at San Diego State. I didn't put much stock into how Lewis left, Aztec Athletic Director J.D. Wicker said. Why should he? San Diego State needed a reset itself. When Brady Hoke retired, well, let's just say it was time. The Aztecs needed to become exciting again, especially in a new stadium at a time when a move to the Pac-12 had been an option as recently as last summer. The program's legacy is offense. Don Coriel, Brian Sight, Marshall Falk, Rashad Penny, Daniel Pumphrey. Lewis label for his offense is more from flash fast to see you fast to Aztec fast. Aztec fast in 2024. We provide a link in the description. You can read the whole article. We just went through some of it. Dennis Dodd, CBS Sports. Sean Lewis, he was done dirty by Deion Sanders. He should have just fired him. Let him go if he didn't like what he was doing. He probably did not get enough praise at the beginning of the season, and he probably got too much blame. I absolutely agree with Sean Lewis. San Diego State Aztecs, they've had a very difficult last, well, 48 months. But brighter days are ahead for San Diego State, in my opinion. Put down your opinion in the comments section below the video. What do you think? Sean Lewis... He was a good head coach at Kent State. Don't let the record fool, fool you at all. Remember, you got to you got to take the record into context. Kent State, very difficult place to win. You can see the record of Kent State before and after. Sean Lewis was absolutely brilliant in building up the one side of the off of the ball, the offensive side of the ball at Kent State. He's going to do the same at San Diego State if they get any defense but a production. In the Mountain West Conference race, the San Diego State Aztecs, they are going to be a contender for the years ahead. Sean Lewis, San Diego State Aztec, Aztec fast. That's a good fit. That is a very good fit. Until next time, from all of us at PATC to all of you, please, please, you all take great care of each other. Thank you so very much.